young ones. Welcome to art class. Today, we are going to be making floating jellyfish. But before we begin, I need to be safe. I'm going to put on, oh, my smock. <laughs> currently got my sleeves uh, sticking through. So maybe I'll just roll those up. By the way, it's like a heat factory in my classroom. Uh, Mrs. Corver is with us. You could all say, hi, Mrs. Corver. Awesome, great job. Hello, students. <laughs> there she is, she lives. Okay, uh, so that should probably work for today. Ah, yes, so painting. We're going to be creating these fun little things. Floating jellyfish. We're gonna be using watercolor paints. We're gonna be using a Sharpie. We're gonna be using some paper towel, some paint brushes, and a pencil. I'll just, you can take a look down here if you'd like. Would you like to show them the supplies? Watercolor paper, paint brushes, water, watercolor paints, pencil, sharpie, and some uh, tissue paper. No, not tissue paper. Paper towel. Paper towel. Tissue paper is what you use on your nose, not what you use for that. I also have instructions that I will be giving to your teacher so that she can put it up on a projector in case you need help, step by step. The first thing we must do is wash our hands because watercolor paints will or watercolor paper will absorb the dirt off of our hands. I didn't know that. Yeah, I heard Mrs. Forrest say this as I was walking past her art class. <laughs> Wee! I learned a new thing. Now I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> By the way, today we are painting in the classroom. We shall be very careful of the carpets. We will not wreck those. So. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have my paper, my watercolor paper, on my little background thing to save my desk. Don't worry, you will all get yours soon. And it says, step one, draw a bubble that is going to become a jellyfish near the top of your page. Okay, so here I go. By the way, side note, I am not a world-class artist. I do my best. So I'm gonna try and make it look something like that. If you want, you can put it off near the side, or you can do it in the middle. I think I'm going to do it in the middle today, just to make it different. Please do not judge me, and I will not judge you. This is art. Oh, yeah. Uh, draw a bubble. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. Oh, that looks like a wonderful jellyfish. Then step two, draw tentacles coming out of the bubble. Make sure there's a decent thickness to them. They will be colored in with black Sharpie. So I've seen some students do them way too big that you can't tell the difference between them, or too thin that they're like little whims that don't exist. So Like hair. Yeah, like a hair, and you can't really see that. So just draw. Also, you might want to go a little lighter than I am. I'm just being brave and courageous. Oops, I'm really good at breaking these pencils. I should really just use the old-fashioned pencils. So first thing I'm just gonna do, like a few going this way down, and then I might do some doing, going sideways. Remember, please do not judge me. I am not an artist. Uh, maybe I'll just try this. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, we'll go longer. We'll give it some different lengths to be even more artistic. Some of you will even do different directions to make it look like it's moving. I think I'm gonna stick with plain down for today to be safe because I do not trust my artistic abilities. So I hope this is encouraging to all of you to be brave. Right. Side note, Mrs. Corber is a very good artist, <laughs> but for some reason, she doesn't want to make videos. I don't like to be in front of the camera. Oh, well, maybe I'll try it this way. Oh, that feels weird, going like backwards. I'm doing backwards swirls. Ooh. Oh yeah. Students, don't worry, you're gonna get to do this in a second. Oops, that looks like a really large tentacle. Maybe I'll make all kind of match too much. Oh well, this is fine. All right, and then it says, step three, draw a line behind the tentacles to represent the other side of the jellyfish. So you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Take a look at this. See, we're gonna do that back thing. Yeah, you can see it on this one too. See, that back thing, like that. All right, ooh, well done, Selena. Thank you for the student samples. All right, so we're gonna do this. So I'm just gonna draw behind here, just lightly across like that. You might wanna give it like some swirls so it doesn't look like you just drew a straight line because, well, jellyfish aren't straight. There we go. So 
Maybe Mrs. Corver could zoom in on this guy and we'll get your teacher to pause so you can create that. All right, hello, we're back. I hope you've created amazing pencil jellyfishes. They're gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna flip over my instructions and tell you what step four is. Step four that I wrote all by myself a few years ago. Trace the outline of your jellyfish and tentacles with Sharpie. We have Sharpies. Be careful with these, they stain. Should you ever get it on your face? Comes off really well with hairspray. All right, here we go. So shocking. Right, isn't it? I may have had a little bit of fun at summer camp. Yep, and drawn on people's faces. Do, 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 do. I don't know if you need to really sit and watch me do all of this without doing anything, but basically, outline is what you need to do. So we're going to just keep on outlining. Lovely. Okay. Oops, look at that. I'm making straight lines. That does not look like a jellyfish. I'm just going to try and fix that up a little bit. Told you, not an artist. I do my best. Also, don't worry if you have a little bit of pencil showing. You can erase it after or just paint over top of it. I'll probably just leave mine and see what happens. And then you can do the opposite, whatever makes the most sense. Okay. Has anyone ever eaten a jellyfish in this class? Corver, have you ever eaten a jellyfish? No, but I got stung by a jellyfish. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where were you swimming? Um, in the ocean in Thailand. Oh dear. Did it hurt? Oh, yes. What yeah. color was it? Um, I don't know. It, I never saw it. Oh. I just felt it wrap its tentacle oh, I'm sorry. up my leg and then the other one went down my leg. So. Yikes! Yeah, kind of felt like synchronized swimming bees stinging me oh, in no. like a whip fashion. Oh no! Yes. Oh, that yeah. sounds terrible. It was quite awful, yes. Oh. Yeah, wouldn't recommend it. Please, don't recommend it. There was once a time on my grandpa's boat, <clears throat> we were leaving this place called Bedwell Bay, across from Deep Cove in North Van, and I was on the bow while he was driving, and I was counting the red jellyfish as we left, and I will never forget that day, because as we left the bay, I counted 42 <gasps> red stinging jellyfish. Oh, my. And I had just been swimming in there, Thankfully, I did not get stung. Uh, yeah, but they come out in the fall, and we were on the boat in the mm. fall. Yeah. So, this is the next step. Mrs. Corver, could you please zoom in on this guy? And we shall watch, and you can create, and teachers will pause. Off you go. All right, here we are, back for our next step. Uh, we are on step five of seven. You're nearly done. Congrats to you. So it says, use a stippling effect to paint the background of your jellyfish. Stippling, it's a funny word. What that means is you are going to take your brush, put it in some water, put it in some paint, and go like this to make your colors. So some of yours are gonna look more watery, while others of yours is gonna look drier. You can probably tell the difference. This person had a drier brush, so you can see more dots. This one had a wetter brush, and so they all kind of went together and smooshed like an ocean. So you can kind of decide what look you like better. Both are fine. I kind of like this one because I don't think there's a lot of white in the ocean. So I think you shouldn't have so much white space. This would be ideal if you can do that. Also, if you wanted to have one tiny jellyfish in the corner, you can, but you were supposed to have mostly just like one jellyfish. Okay, okay. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I haven't done it since last year. So it says to, you, to paint the background of your jellyfish, you need to mix colors of blues, soft purples, blacks, and greens. Okay, and then, wait, sorry, that's the background. We're gonna do the background first, not the jellyfish. I totally got that wrong. We're doing the background, blues and greens. 
maybe some purples. So here we go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I think I have a turquoise. Don't know which one it is. We'll try that. Also, if you want to dry your brush, you now have your fantastic paper towel to blot up, blot out anything. Oh, that's a nice color. Also, remember that the ocean is lighter at the top and darker at the bottom. So it might be useful to like start at the bottom and work your way up. However, you can color as you choose. And look how I'm holding my paintbrush. I'm not doing this. I'm going like this, up and down, okay? It's going to take some time. A lot of time. That's okay. You probably don't want to have the paintbrush touching the Sharpie pen a lot because it might bleed the color. So be careful of that. So maybe use a drier brush in around the tentacles so you don't also touch your paint. if you get a little bit of watercolor paint in the tentacles because once this dries uh, you will be coloring them with Sharpie so they'll just turn black okay but you don't do that until it's dry or else you'll have a mess First layer of blue. I'm going to now add a little bit of a darker blue. Is that purple or blue? I think it's blue. Oh yeah, that's blue. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah. By the way, these look fantastic picture frames when they're finished. You could paint this and give it to your parents as a gift. You can keep it for when you're a famous artist one day. What do you think, Vincent Corver? I'm gonna like maybe it. some green. Do you mm -hmm. think a little bit of green maybe? Oh yeah. Maybe more down at the bottom. <clears throat> mm-hmm.
Okay, that's that's blending nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, almost like I know what I'm doing, guys. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> also, just thinking about the Christmas campuses, you guys all did such a great job of them. They were masterpieces. How was your class's Christmas campuses, Mrs. Corbett? Oh, really good. They were beautiful. Yeah, I was impressed. I took a look through their little boxes, their mailboxes, mm -hmm. just to see how they had created them. They did such a fabulous job. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, 6Z and 6KB, I mean 6KT, I also saw yours. They looked fabulous as well. Great. It's a little bit of green up here, so it looks like I've got something. What do you think? Pretty good? Mm-hmm. All right, let's uh, perhaps pause the video looking at this guy so you guys can all create your wonderful backgrounds for your jellyfish. All right, we're back for step six. We are now going to do the jellyfish bubble. We did the background, we got some nice ocean, we're gonna do the bubble. So I think I'm gonna use a little bit of purple for my jellyfish. I am going to do a little dab. Yes, you're all dabbing in your chairs, just like you did when I thought you would in the first video. Very exciting. All right, I'm gonna do purple, because I really like that color. We're gonna do this. Oh yeah, so step six says, use a stippling effect to paint the inside of the jellyfish. Darker colors on the sides and whiter in the middle will give the jellyfish a more round shape. All right. The noise of this is really funny when students are sibling and it's just a class of paintbrushes tapping. It's, it's like music. Oh, I like that color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna add more purple around the outside first because I would like it to be darker. What do you think about a little bit of red, Mrs. Corper? Ooh, yeah. Do you think that might look kind of nice, like around the outside? More? I think so, yeah. I'm going to try it. Okay, guys, this might be a disaster, but we'll go with it. Yeah, you could always paint more purple over it if it That's true. doesn't look nice. It'll just be a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. Happy painting accident. It could work. It could not. I don't know. You'll be the judge. Ooh, oh, oh, I like this. Mm -hmm. It actually looks like my jellyfish has the chicken pox. Oh, I kind of do like that though. Oh, but it starts blending. Mm -hmm. It, it is looks blending. so nice. It does. Oh, this is great fun. Guys, I feel so relaxed. This painting is just like art therapy for the soul. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So much more exciting than marking. Don't worry. I already marked the things you needed marking, like your basketball tests. They're done, except your Bible sheets are not, but they will get done very soon. I think you're probably more excited about doing this than getting back your marking. Here we are. Oh, it looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Now, the middle. Hmm. Do you think I should put a little bit of red in the middle? And I could add a little more purple on the outside. Let's try it. Let's we'll do see it. How it goes. It's a little dark. That's okay. This just looks like the jellyfish that dung you, right, Mrs. Corver? Yeah. Yeah, the one that you didn't actually see. So yeah. Maybe you don't know. <laughs> just done. evil. Exactly. Exactly. Evil jellyfish. Okay, and I'm going to add a little more purple, and then we will. 
let it dry for a few minutes before painting or coloring in the tentacles. We're almost done. You guys are pro. You're doing this so fast. Great work, students. Great work. Here we are. Okay, purple. Really? Where's the purple? Oh, silly purple. Karis Powell to the high school office, please. Karis Powell to the high school <laughs> office. Thank you. Now going to be on my YouTube channel. Here we go. Okay, I think I like that. I'm happy with it. What do you think, Mrs. Corver? I like Could it. Could you just hover there for a few moments? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back with our Sharpie. Now, students, this is very important. You want to make sure you do this when your jellyfish is dry. Because if you don't, your Sharpie is going to bleed into all of your watercolor painting. So, I'm going to try step seven, which is color in the tentacles using Sharpie. But if it does not work and it starts to be like leaking all over, I'm just going to stop and you're just going to wait and you'll see what it looks like later. Sound good? Excellent. All right, because it's still a little damp, but I might be able to do it. I know some of you don't like coloring with pencil crayons, so I'm hoping that coloring with Sharpie is more satisfying for you. I love Sharpies. One tentacle is done. I'm gonna move you. We'll try this. Here we go. Uh oh, that feels a little too wet. I'll come back to it. What I realized, I could just move this table up. How would I do oh, that? Yeah. Because, oh yeah, look at this go. So fast, then I'm not leaning over on a standing table. Why would you do that? Oh, silly me, didn't even think of that before. I was just so excited to make a jellyfish. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, this is way better. I can stand here all day. All right, I do notice I have some puddles here, but that might just add shape. Or I could just go like this. Oh, maybe we'll let it go back there. It's gonna look very rounded. You could dab it with a paper towel could, if you wanted it to be drier. I just think it might look kind of funny, having big blotches of color. So this is how you dab. <laughs> <laughs> we spend so much time with middle school students. <laughs> Too much time. So much wonderful time <laughs> that we have such a good sense of humor. There we go. Oh, it looks better. All right, guys. Yay. Lifesaver. Thank you, Mrs. Corver. Oh, you're welcome. This is why we're a team. Mm-hmm. By the way, we currently have a sign on the door that says, please do not disturb filming in process. And we close the blinds. I bet so many people are waiting outside that door, so excited to wait for our new YouTube hit. Probably all your fans. Oh, probably all my fans. I currently have one subscriber. Woo! Yeah, thanks, Brayden. Only Brayden cares about the art that I post. Oh, he must be getting fours, all exceeding expectations oh, yeah. with that. He's exceeding expectations all the way. Oh. Yep. 
Yep, no marks, just exceeding. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's looking great! Okay, mm -hmm. this guy's probably dry enough to like color in here. Please be dry enough. Don't bleed into the jellyfish. Yes. Okay, we're good. We'll keep going. Is the camera heavy, Mrs. Corver? Oh, a little bit, but it's fine. Okay, that's good. We're really strong right arm now, you know? Yeah, you're just working out your muscles, mm -hmm. just like your students. They were uh, busy playing big bases oh, last nice. block today. Yeah, they were doing a great job. I was very impressed by their teamwork. Good. Yeah, and their kicking skills. And there was one student who was an expert flopper on the big base. Oh, really? I'm sure you know who that one student is. Mm -hmm. He's very good at flopping. <laughs> yep. Sometimes he does it on the floor, so. Yep, oh yes. Yep, or on the gym floor, or on a bench, probably on an ice rink. Oh, maybe that's what happened on the mountain. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's maybe how the wrist broke. Mm -hmm. That poor student. He's healed now, though. Cast is off. Mm -hmm. So exciting. Yep. Back to PE. He shall go. Yay! Yep. All right. We're almost done, guys. Thanks for watching my video, subscribing to my channel, and making me a sensation on YouTube. It's wonderful. We're almost done. It's a good workout. I have respect for you, students. All of the things we make you do. Coloring with Sharpie. Painting with watercolors. Planks, push-ups, big bases. Ooh, I almost went out of the lines there. I'm getting sloppy. I need to slow down. Yes! Only two left! Woo. It's almost done! I do hear a key in the I door. I do hear a key in the door. There's a secret person. Ooh. She can come in. She's allowed in. No one else is. Oh. Nope. Secret art time. Check us out on YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. It's really good. There's currently two other videos. Mm -hmm. One art project, one, welcome to 6F. It's free, right? Oh, we're almost done, guys. Look Yay. at this. So exciting. These tentacles probably take the longest. I think so. Poor Mrs. Corver. Oh, no, no. Such a good sport, holding that thing, getting an arm workout. Hey, she could beat Simon at an arm wrestle now. <laughs> Simon, you didn't beat me. Good oh, try. no. Good try. We ended in a tie. We gave up. All right, there it is. That is what your jellyfish is going to look like. Now, you can autograph the front in Sharpie, but you need to do it when it's dry. I'm going to go with mine is dry enough. Don't know if it is, but we're going to try. Watch this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That, students, is my autograph. Wow. There it is. Mrs. Corver. Could you pause? Oh yeah, we'll give it a clap. Woo! Hooray! And your teacher can pause on this guy, and then you can paint. All right, students, well done. Thanks for coming out today to make a floating jellyfish. They're pretty awesome. Put in a frame. Now, we in grade six in my class will be putting saran wrap on these guys and sharing them with other classes so we don't waste the paints. Sound good? Uh, I think that's all I need to tell you. Mm. Yes, when this is drying, at the end of the day, once it's not so wet, you can actually put like a textbook on top of it so that it stays flat. Sound good? Excellent. All right, see you later, students. Happy painting. Goodbye.